what's up you guys your girl ends back with another video period today's video is going to be like my favorite puree foods i do apologize because i am behind on my favorite food during like each stage so if you are in the puree stage or if you're about to begin the puree stage anything like that this one's for you i am in my sister's music room there's like a guitar right there there's a like a microphone right here there's drums there's everything in here i'm trying so hard not to knock anything over because she will kill me Okay, let's get in the video. So the puree stage is the third stage. It's clear liquids, then full liquids, then puree. So for the puree stage, I did have everything that I had in the clear liquid slash full liquid. So if you didn't see that video, I'll put it right here. So basically I was like jello, pudding, soups, um, sugar-free popsicles, stuff like that. So I ran all the way upstairs to go get my book because I forgot it. Mm -hmm. So for the puree stage, we have the protein shakes, the clear liquid protein shakes, Scrambled eggs. I don't think I was allowed to add cheese until the next stage. I did cheese once and then they told me, you know, wait till the next stage. So for the meat, I was allowed to have puree, chicken breast, turkey breast, fish, and tuna. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I did not puree a lot of things. I never liked the idea of pureeing stuff because that just seems nasty to me. So what I did was my friend Air put me onto this Southwest chicken from Aldi's. It kind of reminds me of the chicken that they put in the spicy Southwest salad at Chick-fil-A. I was basically eating that and then putting sauce on it and just chewing it up real good until it was like um, a puree texture. So for the puree, you can add sauces. So I did add sugar-free barbecue sauce, which is so good. I'll put a picture up of what it looks like. The sugar-free barbecue sauce you could get from Walmart. This brand has like a bunch of flavors, but I made sure it said sugar-free. And I accidentally got the one that was with sugar in it. And I accidentally ate it and I was like, this is not, this doesn't taste like how it used to taste. And it wasn't the sugar-free one. So the sugar-free one to me actually tastes better than the regular one. I didn't do chicken breast, I didn't do fish, and I did not do tuna. I do not like tuna. Ugh. I did have the Greek yogurt, which had protein in it, which was not bad because I don't really like regular Greek yogurt. So if you want to see that yogurt, go to my full liquid, clear liquid video. You're also allowed to have cottage cheese and ricotta cheese. I don't think I ever had cottage cheese, but it's not something that I want to experience. And I do like ricotta cheese, so you are allowed to have ricotta bake. Ricotta bake is super popular within the weight loss community. I did not make the ricotta bake during the puree stage. But everyone says it's good, so you could try that out too. For fruits, I was allowed to have pureed peaches, apricots, apricots, I don't know how everyone says it, pears, banana, no skin or seeds. So during my puree stage, I did start adding banana to my protein shake because I was just getting bored with the regular protein shake. So adding a banana was like a life changer. It just gives it a different taste and it makes it like a little thicker. So try that, that's really good. Pureed canned fruits in water, unsweetened applesauce, baby food fruits. I did not try any of those. Okay, sorry y'all, my camera died, so let's get back into it. Okay, so I think I left off at the fruits, baby fruits. For vegetables, it was pureed carrots, green beans, cauliflower, baby food vegetables. I did have cauliflower in my puree stage. I did not have the carrots and green beans. Oh, actually I did have carrots. As far as vegetables and fruits, I was able to puree those because, because it wasn't that bad. Pureeing meat was just the thing for me that I was like, mm-mm. So pureeing fruits and vegetables, it's kind of like having just a smoothie. Starches, potatoes, mashed, sweet potatoes, no skins. I definitely have potatoes. I have regular mashed potatoes and I have mashed sweet potatoes. And that was the most filling thing for me. It was really good. Just think about going from like yogurts, water, juices, and stuff like that. And then you can finally have mashed potatoes. Now as far as the mashed potatoes, um, it is okay to have it in your beginning stages. Like once you get into puree and soft foods. But once you're allowed to go to a regular diet, you should kind of stop eating mashed potatoes because those are carbs and you do want to focus on protein, not carbs. Another thing under the starches is oatmeal. I did say that already. And cream of wheat cereal made with milk. That I did really like oatmeal. There is an oatmeal that you can get by Quaker. I think it's by Quaker. I'll insert a picture. It's fiber and protein oatmeal. So it doesn't taste as good good like you can sweeten it up a little bit with like a sugar substitute i believe but it is fiber and protein oatmeal so it does give you some protein which is what we want so that's it for that list i'm gonna tell you my list i did also have hummus i really like hummus some people don't like it but it's really good to me there's different types where you could get like the garlic one the red pepper one so you can kind of add that to your vegetables if you would like 
cauliflower mash was one of my faves you can season cauliflower mash up you can do so many things to it so basically cauliflower mash and cauliflower rice is cauliflower cut up into rice or mashed into like a mashed potatoes consistency sugar-free whipped cream you can add to your jello your puddings i said that in my last video the sugar-free whipped cream gives you like that sweet taste that you probably might crave i think cool whip is sugar-free and then like the spray ones um those are also sugar-free or they're low in sugar so just check the labels soups you can start to have like creamy soups you can make your soup or you could buy a soup i was having homemade soup mostly so um like chicken noodle soup not chicken noodle soup but like the broth from it creamy soups are really good and filling i feel like i wasn't really on puree stage for long but it was two weeks long i did move on to the next stage like three days early because i met with my dietitian earlier and what i was explaining to her is that i'm not a big fan of puree so what i was doing was having everything that was in clear liquids and full liquids instead of doing puree which she said was wrong and she said that i shouldn't be doing that that i should be advancing myself through each stage and she basically moved me to the next stage which is soft food like a couple days early so when she did that i was so happy because i was like i can't do these puree foods the puree foods are not terrible but you have to put water in it which makes it like weird to me because i'm like why would i want to put water in my chicken so so that's why i was kind of like with the fruit and the vegetable type of thing and just chewing up the shredded chicken until it was like a puree type of paste but yeah that's basically everything i had in the puree stage i didn't have much because like i said i was going back to the liquid stage i'm gonna do a video on the soft food stage which was like 10 times better for me and i have a lot of stuff that i had during the soft food stage because it was like more things that i can eat and enjoy so i will do that video thank you guys for watching this video make sure you're subscribed to my channel make sure you're following me on instagram at amber alia a-m-b-e-r-a-l-i-y-a-a -A, that's two a's and i'll see you guys in the next video